Hey everyone, this is Mike. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about the Season of Dawn and maybe see if I can get some of you guys interested in buying the new Season for Destiny 2 as well. So Season of Dawn basically gives you a couple of new things that are already implemented right now and then of course just like with Season of the Undying, every week pretty much we're going to be getting an update that is going to add something new to the game. So first of all, what we have available right now, this moment, uh, is going to be a couple of new things. So first of all, we have the Solar Subclass update. Uh, each of the three classes had one of their subclasses reworked a little bit to give it a different playstyle or make it a little bit more playable um, because some subclasses were seeing a little bit of less play um, or a very specific kind of play to also give you a little bit more options down there. Uh, we of course have the new Seasonal Artifact. We have a new uh, maximum cap, so right now the cap is 960 for legendary drops uh, or for powerful drops and then we have 970 for pinnacle drops. We have the Sundial, which is our new PvE mode, uh, we have new PvP map, and we also have the new Obelisks, which kind of tie in together with this Sundial. And then of course we have our Season Pass, uh, which also gives us immediately access to the new Exotic, the new Scout Rifle. So let's talk about this Sundial a little bit and kind of see how it works, because that is going to be the biggest focus um, of this update. Oh yeah, we also have new story, if you're interested in that. So. New story around Saint 14 and a little bit of time travel on Mercury again. Um, but for the most part, we're not going to be talking about story too much. We're going to be talking about content that's actually available right now. So the Sundial. Uh, a lot of people like to compare this to the Menagerie, and I can definitely see the similarities in between the two of them. Basically, you start in the center of the map at the Sundial, and then it will open up a portal, send you to a specific encounter. You complete the encounter, you gain progress towards the, like, total encounter progress I guess you could say uh, and then when the total progress bar fills up so meaning that you have done enough encounters and gotten enough score you can send into the boss arena and then you uh, defeat the boss you get your loot now currently there's only one boss available um, but as the season progresses we're going to be getting three new bosses as well as a legendary mode for the sundial as well so it's kind of like heroic menagerie uh, but you just called it a legend sundial now the way how the Sundial works is very simple. There are four different obelisks scattered around the overworld. We have one on the Tangled Shore and one on Mars. And then the one on Nessus and the EDZ will be coming out in the near future as well. Now what you do is you go to these obelisks. You can level them up with currency that you gain from doing uh, bounties from the obelisks. But also from doing the Sundial activity itself. And then you basically get access to mods and the guns. Uh, and some other passive bonuses as well on these obelisks themselves. So you basically can always link two obelisks at a time to the sundial. And then when you finish the sundial, you get to choose one weapon out of your selection of weapons from the obelisks that you have linked. Um, so it's a really easy way to farm that specific weapon. Now, other than that, on the obelisk themselves, you can also pick up weapon bounties for these specific weapons that you want to farm. Each obelisk gives you access to three different weapons. You have two of the new weapons, like the Saint 14 weapons, I'm just going to call them. And then there's one random uh, legendary weapon in there as well. It's not a random legendary, as in like every time you buy it, it's just a new weapon. Um, but it is a normal legendary weapon that was already in the game uh, that you can form a random roll for if you want to do so. Um, but in general, it's relatively simple. It kind of works like your Chalice of Opulence as well, I guess you could say, is... You do the sundial to get the new weapons, you get new currency, you spend the currency to upgrade your obelisk, and then the more you upgrade the obelisk, the more uh, bonus rewards that you get as well, uh, through being able to buy new weapons, being able to farm those weapons for the random roll that you want to get, uh, or the god roll that you want to get, I guess I should say. Uh, and then, of course, you also get some passive benefits uh, from the new mods and such that they give you, because there is a new mod system in place as well. Um, from the Sundial, you also get a piece of seasonal legendary gear, which is really important um, because this season's seasonal legendary gear um, has a special mod slot, kind of like how the raid gear has its own special mod slots for the raids that are very specific, um, for the mods that are raid specific, uh, kind of like we had um, Voltaic Ammo Collector or Rally Defender, that kind of stuff back in uh, Season of Undying. Well, we still kind of access to those um, because the raid is still current content. Um, but basically this new seasonal gear gives you access to new seasonal mods as well uh, that also work around the mechanic of charged with light. So definitely really interesting stuff to take a look at if you do want to mod your gear 
uh, and kind of see where you can get all of those new bonuses. Play around with new playstyles, play around with new builds, because that's what Destiny is all about right now. It's finding that build uh, that fits your playstyle, or just experiment with new stuff and see if you can find some new playstyle out there uh, that is fun to play with. So that's kind of what we have in the Season of Dawn act, uh, like right now. I'll also put a little picture on the screen um, of what we're going to be getting down the line. Um, so it's basically mainly going to be updates to the uh, the Sundial activity. We're going to be getting new exotic quests as well for two new exotic weapons. Uh, and then we're also going to be getting a couple of other updates as well. So that's pretty much going to do it for me, Season of Dawn, so far. I've been enjoying it. And there's not a lot of new content available, but it's also just a seasonal expansion uh, and not an actual expansion expansion that happens once a year. Um, so what we got, I think, for the prize is pretty reasonable. There's a bunch of new weapons out there. There's some new, uh, sp like, specific, um, what are they called again? Random rolls that you can chase as well, um, like new perks that are available. That's what I was looking for. Um, so, so far, really enjoying it. Looking forward to getting my hands on some of the new guns. Uh, interested to see on how the sundial is going to change as well as we go through the season with all of the new final bosses and that kind of stuff. And then of course what new weapons will be available in the Nessus and the EDZ obelisk, uh, which we will be getting I believe it's next week. So it shouldn't be too much longer until we start getting some more content as well. Because that's something that I really enjoy about these seasons is that there's basically something every week. Uh, that makes you want to come back to the game. So that's going to be it for me. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.